Dork Lair. Welcome to another Dork Lair action figure review. Today I'm taking a look at the Vintage Collection Mandalorian in the three and three quarter scale. Now this is something I opened a while back and I think I even actually may have opened this up on the podcast just kind of casually um, during the during the quarantine. I just needed to crack something open bad. And um, yeah, so I, I kind of briefly talked about it, but May the 4th is upon us and I thought I would try to get some Star Wars content out there. This week's podcast is going to be Star Wars related and here we go with a vintage collection review. Quick look at the packaging. I mean, the vintage collection kind of speaks for itself. It's awesome. It's just about the best thing you can want in a Star Wars figure. Just the classic Kenner look on the back here. We have um, the current wave and then another wave up there of figures there. Now this wave comes with Cara Dune and the Remnant Trooper, but then it also comes with a random reissue of a, um, of a uh, clone trooper there. But yeah, so you can see the package. I actually have, um, I got an extra one to keep on card. So I may try to collect the whole wave all on card and that's why I don't have Cara Dune or the Remnant Trooper sort of handy right now for that. It's because um, I only have one of each of those so far and the card backs I do have are pretty good with those. So I'm gonna wait till I get an extra one of each to crack those open. But if it if enough time passes and I don't get an extra, I might, I'll probably just crack them open and just, just give up that dream of having one on card and one open. But quick look at the figure here. And so it's, it's pretty awesome. I actually think the helmet looks excellent. It's just got a real metallic look to it. I do favor personally the look in the first couple episodes of the series. You know, I like the kind of like the thrown together armor look of the first few episodes rather than the best car. I mean, the best car is badass, but this look is my preferred look, especially because my favorite episode is the second one. The Jawas episode is just so perfect. It's like, it's like one of the most unexpected, awesome bits of little Star Wars. It was like a little gift um, to have that there. Um, it's so good. I love that episode. But let me change the camera angle here. We'll take a closer look. All right, just a quick 360 around the helmet here. Um, the cape is the soft plastic and um, the shoulder strap and the belt is soft plastic like it's kind of weird though like it kind of attaches and it's sort of glued on this whole piece is sort of one glued on piece over here uh, and then you have the holster with the pistol in there and that comes out it feels a lot like the, the black series one um but i actually like this better I'm on my second black series one because my first one was super loose and it was kind of warped my second one is not warped but it's still super loose so I've been kind of let down by the Black Series one, but there's going to be a lot of other six-inch options, so not too concerned with that. But yeah, pretty great-looking figure. Um, the articulation, so the head is on a ball joint. It's got excellent articulation for a three-and-three-quarter figure. Shoulders on a hinge and swivel. It'll swing up that far, and you can rotate it all the way around. Um, the single-jointed elbow, quite a bit of articulation there, which is important because he's got that rifle, and it's nice to be able to sort of angle that hand down, get that shoulder way up there, and really spin that around so that you can kind of do that rifle pose that I had in the beginning. So that's nice. I do wish this hand rocked the other way though, because sometimes they have the figure where it'll rock this way, and that makes it better for cradling the barrel of the gun when his hand is up here, and you're cradling the barrel, and if you could kind of bring the hand this way a little bit, it would be nice. But the hands are flexible enough that it works pretty well to get them in that rifle pose. There's a torso uh, ball at the top of the torso, and then that's it. The waist doesn't twist or anything, but you get a pretty good range of motion just with that upper torso area there. And then um, there seems to be a peg at the top of the hip. It's kind of an interesting thing going on here. The peg is at the top of the hip, so lots of range of motion. I mean, he can go all the way out to the splits. Really good movement in those hips there. Um, and then there's a twist at the top of the thigh over on the same, same thing on the other side there. Um, and then the knees can bend about just about 90 degrees there. I do wish more vintage collection figures would come with a pivot, but it does have a hinge there. 
Okay, Mandalorian next to a couple other action figures so you can get a sense of his size here. He is next to the Rogue One Stormtrooper, which I believe is the exact same thing as the Remnant Stormtrooper, just with different um, paint. And then here he is next to the Klaatuinian Raider that came with the ATST Raider. And then a vintage figure. Here's Luke Skywalker and a figure that's sort of based on vintage style things. Here is a Mezco uh, Hazard Squad Commander, moving into a couple other non-Star Wars lines. Here's um, a 1 18th scale uh, Acid Rain figure, and finally a 1 18th scale Boss Fight Studios figure there. So obviously the 1 18th scale figures are a bit larger, uh, and the Boss Fight figure is on a stand right now, but uh, that, that Barbarian's pretty awesome. I'm gonna probably do a review of that one pretty soon. But anyway, there you go for some size comparisons. Like the Black Series figure, there is a peg hole in the shoulder. You just have to kind of line it up right, and then that'll pop right in there, and you can kind of have him holding his uh, pistol and have the rifle strapped on the back, and the cape doesn't get in the way too much because it's, it's sort of sculpted off to the side sort of like space for it there so pretty good so it's a pretty awesome figure uh, i'm very happy with it and i'm collecting the mandalorian vintage collection stuff um any kind of three and three quarter mandalorian stuff i'm going to be picking up i do need to still try to get my hands on that vehicle um and if i do it's kind of a commitment because i want to get more of the remnant stormtroopers to go with it so we'll see if i'm going to commit all the way to that um vehicle the uh it's the troop transport sort of reissue version of the old um kenner thing back in the day and uh you know it's kind of neat that the mandalorian tv show does pays a lot of tribute to action figures and collectors and stuff because you know you have you have that vehicle showing up in the show you have yellowed stormtroopers so <laughs> you know it's totally paying tribute to the action figures um, in the collecting world. So yeah, love the Mandalorian. It's a pretty awesome figure. Thanks for watching. And until next time, may the force be with you. Follow me.